said it is a really good cover three beater and can be a one play touchdown against cover three just like that guys thing that you say about me my dog is like to play mad in a 2k but one thing they don't do is play about me my homeboy tyler he playing south what is going on youtube king reggie and we are back so today i'm sure you've seen in the thumbnail or in the title i added two new just huge upgrades to the squad super excited so I'm going to bring you guys another gameplay with this Trips Titan inspired offense out of the Kansas City Chiefs playbook. So if you guys are new to the channel, I'm doing a new scheme right now, like I said, in Kansas City. Really, really unique. Two formations that are based around Trips Tight End, but they have just some really unique things that we can do. Slightly different. We can get four wide receivers on the field. We have really unique pass plays and run plays that are not in a normal Trips Tight End. So we're going to be going over that offense today. You guys will see some of the defense I run. I'm in the multiple defense, multiple D playbook. I haven't released my defense yet, but I will coming up soon. So the first huge addition to the squad, guys, is that Philip Rivers came out about a week ago, I believe. As you can see, absolute goon. I have go deep on him and uh, sprinter times two. So speed is okay. I really honestly, guys, if you're looking for more of a budget type quarterback, this Daniel Jones works really, really well. But speed, throw power, all his throwing stats are obviously just disgusting. As far as the abilities I'm using on him, I have Conductor, Heart Rope Master, and Gunslinger. Just looking at the rest of the offense, pretty good O-line, good tackles. I've spent definitely some more coins there. Jonu Smith and Darren Waller. I'm going to get that new Darren Waller upgrade once I move on to a scheme where I use a tight end. But right now I use four wide receivers, no tight ends, but that Waller is sick. I will be getting that. Then I have four wide receivers on the field at all times. So we have Tyree Kill. Deion Sanders, Randy Moss, and DK Metcalf. And then Lance Allworth is my fifth receiver. He'll get in every once in a while. Alvin Kamara in the backfield. And then the old Bo Jack, if we ever need to sub him in. Um, have go deep, to, uh, just totally maxed out. Sprinter maxed out. I don't really run a theme team right now. I probably should, but I don't. As far as defense, the really big upgrade we made was Asante Samuel. So I had that old night train lane have Asante with lockdown all the way geared up and sprinter times two like sprinter all the way geared up as well so 97 speed obviously is man zone 99 everything like not great against the run but him and Dion are kind of my outside corners in my cover three defense so I really want speed not to get burnt over the top uh yeah so on defense look at the rest of the team I have no linebackers on the field except Ted, Ted Hendricks plays D-line so none of the linebackers see the field. It's basically Ted Hendricks, Jack Youngblood, and Aaron Donald. Those are my three down linemen. Then I play nickel 3-3-5. Three, three, and we have like the rest are DBs. So eight DBs out there. Asante Samuel, Rod Woodson, Charles Woodson, Deion Sanders, Eric Weddle, Isaiah Simmons, Sean Taylor, and the uh, out of position Calvin Johnson. So like I said, I'm in the multiple defensive playbook. I'm in the Kansas City Chiefs playbook. I'll go over my defense a little bit more today. Show you guys what I like to do. That's it, guys. Two huge upgrades. Let's try out this Phillip Rivers. Let's get into it. All right, guys. So the two formations I really like to use in this playbook are Trey Y Flex Week and Trio Offset Week. I can You can actually get four wide receivers on the field, guys. All you want to do is go to your packages in Trio Offset Week. Go to the four wide receiver package that gets DK Metcalf in at tight end. And then on the Trey Y Flex Week package, go over on the right stick till tight end wide out. Then just that'll put Tyree Kill for me at that tight end spot. And then you just sub in your fourth receiver on the outside position where the tight end is. So the guy kicked an onside kick at the start of the game, didn't get it. So I really like to start with this 0-1 trap at the start of the game, guys. Just run it once. Oh, we glitched out there. I like to run the 0-1 trap at the start of the game. Run it once. Just really see what defense he's in. So he's in man coverage. I want to run this one more time just to make sure he's in man coverage again. Then we can start attacking him with man beaters. If guys are going to play man two times to start the game, that tends to tell me that they're going to run it a lot. That's going to be kind of their main defense. Okay, guys, third and 10. So we're going to come out in this trio offset week now. Really like this setup. Just released this in my last video as, as well. Oh, man coverage right there. Wow, that sidearm release is different, but we fire that into Tyree Kill. Wow, that 
motion is very, very wild with Phillip Rivers. This is actually the first game I'm using him. So that play, like I said, guys, just released it. Really, really good setup. Beats man, beats zone. He had a linebacker on him there, four wide receivers on the field. Okay, guys, so I like to always come out in this LB cross three first. This is my main this is my main coverage defense. It works pretty well against the run. Also, we have a ton of speed on the field. So I have two really um, coverage defenses that I run out of this formation. The first one is kind of the classic double flat with a three rec hook dropping into the middle. It is really, really good. Oh, that should have been picked, Charles Woodson. Really, really good. I'm going to kind of force people to show me they can beat kind of this double flat look. I do a few different things with it. I'm really going to force them to beat this look. Then if they do, then we'll switch it up. But third and long, I do like to blitz. So I'm going to bring this three overload fire press, guys. Really, really good blitz. I, I haven't seen anyone else run it, especially with the setup. I like to run it. So I'm going to release a video on it as well, but really, really good. Oh, we didn't get there. Basically, on third and long, I want to blitz the first few times or sprinkle in a blitz. Show, I want hit my opponent to show me he can beat the blitz. Okay, same thing, guys. First and 10, double Mabel on each side. Oh, bubble screen. Get out there. Get out there. Okay, he's moving the ball a little bit, moving the ball a little bit. So I, this isn't the best run defense, but it's my favorite way to play pass defense. So unless somebody really is just absolutely destroying me with uh, the run, I will stick in this, this defense, really, really show that they can just gash me with the run. They get a few runs here and there. I'm really not going to lose sleep over that. Okay, coming out again. Definitely going to watch the run here. We have hard lap flats on the field, so sh there shouldn't be any really, really quick and easy throws here. Shoot some gaps. Oh, yes, we got him. Like I said, guys, still a really good run defense, even though it is more geared towards the pass. Okay, guys, first play of every drive. I really like to start with the 0-1 trap. Even on this where I see he's loading up the box, I still want to use this 0-1 trap. Just really see what he's in. Really think that was a big heavy man blitz there. But so, yeah, he's in a very heavy man blitz here. So now... I like to look here, see if he's got any one step ahead on the field. He doesn't. So triangle, if we have time, is going to be wide open down the sideline. But we're going to hit that really quick slant. Okay, I think this might be zone. So we're going to kind of have a zone man set up out there. So we have a flood on the right side and we have a backside slant as well. Yeah, zone coverage. Fire that in. Really like that table route of the backfield, guys. It's like a delayed table route. And instead of getting right to the sideline... The running back actually goes through the line of scrimmage, so it really just throws users off. People are not used to seeing table routes like that. Very, very powerful. So we're going to O-1 trap one more time. Boom. Oh, there was a massive gap there. Okay, guys, he's kind of switched to a zone defense here, so I have a really good beater. This beats cover two and cover three for a one-play touchdown if, if we get it to work right. I think it's the best one-play touchdown in the game. Watch the left side of the field there. Randy Moss right up the seam just like that, guys. I've released that video. I think it is the best one-play touchdown that I've found so far. Super, super deadly. It beats cover two and cover three. Also, if they deep half their corner to stop a one-play touchdown, we have that wheel route along the sideline that you can hit, guys. So I really think that is the best one-play touchdown in the game so far that I've found. Super, super diverse, and you can really attack a lot of coverages with it. Okay, guys, we're going to come out in this LB cross three again. But we're actually going to, I'm going to show you guys my man zone hybrid defense. So we actually have two players in man coverage locking up and then the rest of our players are in zone. Here we go. That could be a user. The rest of our players are in zone. So we have a cover three shell with two players that I put one step ahead on that I like to run man coverage. So I like to put them on running backs if they're really, really gashing me with certain routes. It is a really unique defense, guys, that's going to give your opponent a really different look than they're used to seeing. Okay, guys, we're going to bring the blitz here. Second and 10. I don't think he'll be expecting it. Really, really good blitz. Let's see. Oh, he ran the ball. I was not expecting that. Ran right up my blitz. A good call by him. Same thing. We have the blitz set up. I don't think he'll run the ball again. No. Oh, right up my user. Let's go. Got hurried by the blitz. Is he going to quit out? Hey guys, we got a, he's playing a lot of man coverage here. So have our man beaters out there. Slants all across the field. Crossing routes. 
Really good setup. I've released this play also, guys. Really my go-to if they're running a ton of man coverage. Just gives us a ton of options. Really puts the user in a bind. Run it again. Oh, there we go. Oh, I kind of threw that weird. <laughs> but we got it in there. That works. Down to the... F oh, crap. I should have spiked it. We're going to run the ball here once. Try to get in. Crap, I should have spiked it. I thought I had a little more time. And we get in. Okay. So that ball... That was a little weird. I accidentally tapped square instead of fired in there. But made him pay 21 nothing. He gets ball at half, but that's all good. Okay, guys. So our opponent quit out. 21 nothing in the first half. We'll play one more game. Try to get a little bit more of a close game. We're going to come out in this 0-1 trap again. See if we can run the ball. Once again, 0-1 trap works really well. See if we can run the ball early and just see what defense he's in. So he's running cover three. I'm going to come out in PA spot here. Just see if he's running cover three again. Just release this play. Like I said, it is a really good cover three beater. And can be a one play touchdown against cover three. Just like that, guys. Just release that play. Super, super glitchy. I'm telling you guys, this offense is just ridiculous. Go watch that last video. You see that setup. It's not a cover three beater every time, but if they don't adjust their coverage and they don't get hands on that player, it's a one play touchdown, guys. It is really, really glitchy. Okay, going to start in this double Mabel again, guys. Coming out against a gum bunch. Going to make sure I um, deep half my corner on the right side. Oh, Sean Alexander. Double or deep half that corner on the right side to stop one play touchdowns. Lots of good one play touchdowns out of gun bunch. So going to make sure I do that if they're on the hash basically every single time. Do not want to get beat by those. Oh, good play. Good play. So this guy seems decent on offense so far. Definitely not bad. Going to keep running this double Mabel. Make some adjustments once I start to see what he's doing and if he can beat this, this play. Watch the middle of the field there. There we go. Sack Jack Youngblood. Hey guys, 4th and 23. He's um, going for it. On these really long down and distance guys, I like to bring the blitz. I do not want them to have time back there. Oh, I was trying to knock that down. Basically, I do not want to give them time back there to get something deep down the field, whatever. I want to bring a blitz, have everyone else backed off, and just really make them have to make a really quick read. The chances are they will not be able to get 25 yards on that play if I bring a really heavy blitz. So, a one trap again. Make them stop it. See if they're in cover three again or if when we got that beater, they're trying to change it up. Okay, so he ran cover four the last play, guys. We have a really good cover four beater. I released this video as well. Really, really good. Let's take a look. Watch square here, guys. As long as we get time in the pocket. There it is. Cover four. One play touchdown. Posted that video as well. Gonna people will never be able to run cover four on you with that play, guys. I've had people grab that safety, move him 15 yards back, and I still throw it over his head. So go check out that setup, guys. Really, really good. Okay, really heavy set here, guys. Think he's running the ball. Obviously not 100 percent sure, but this definitely feels like a oh we I I shot that gap. That was a bad user by me. I had him in the backfield. Close here, so I think he's a little scared to pass on us now. Definitely gonna be trying to run the ball. Oh wow, that stop right there was sick. That was that was nice. Hey, this guy's really running the ball on us right now. Like I said, this is a really good pass defense. It's not horrible against the run, not amazing. So we're gonna stay Stick with it unless he really starts to gash us consistently. Yeah, I really don't think he wants to pass the ball anymore. Really trying to run it. Another stretch. Oh, he's got that nice stop and go in the backfield, but we get him wrapped up for a three-yard loss. Okay, I think he thinks we'll be blitzing on this play, so I'm going to play coverage. He's in a super heavy set again. Watch the... Oh, tight end up the seam. Good play by him. Really quick header. Yeah, so if he scores here, he's right in it. He gets ball at half, score here. So we got to make a play on D. Yeah, I got that crosser. Oh, Cooley. Wow, that is a really good play. Wow, Cooley just wrecked me. So, good play by him. I really don't know what sucked down my deep blue there, but yeah, that was a really good play. But yeah, that's all right, guys. Let's have a bit of a game here. 14-7, we got a chance. I want to get at least three here. Give us a two-possession lead going into the half. Oh, almost just broke that guy off. Get a two-possession lead going into the half. That'll put us in a good spot. 
All right, so he's in cover two here. This is a really good... I have a lot of one-play touchdowns out of these formation guys. This is a really good cover two beater. Um, I haven't released this yet. This will be the next video I'm putting out. But yeah, this play absolutely cooks cover two. Oh, I didn't stay in bounds there. But absolutely cooks cover two. A lot of the times you're going to go for a one-play touchdown there. So that is the next video coming out, guys. I have so many beaters out of this formation that it's kind of it's kind of crazy. So I'm gonna play this 0-1 trap one more time. Just see uh, see if he's staying in cover two. If he's gonna go back to cover three. Okay, he was in man coverage on that one. So gonna come in lots of slants, lots of crossing routes. Here we go. Yeah, right there, Deion Sanders. Let's go get in, get in, get in. There we go. Okay, 21-7 went down really really good on that drive, guys. Like I said, this whole offense, so explosive. I have just beaters for every coverage. So many deep plays down the field and a lot of really good runs as well. Okay, coming out in a heavy set again. So I'm not 100% sure how he got the tight end open, but I deep halved my blue on that side, so that should not get open this time. Yeah, so whatever that play is, he's able to suck down my deep blue, but I deep halved it that time. He tried the same play. We locked it down. So we're fine now. If we see that formation, just make sure we deep blue it. Deep blue our corner. Okay, coming out again in these heavy sets with only a minute left in the half. Yeah, that is not going to work, my dude. Okay, we're going to call a timeout. Maybe we'll get the ball back. Third and 11. Yeah, we're going to bring a blitz again. So set up our blitz here. This is what she looks like. She's going to come in. I'm going to watch a quick hitter from the tight end. Oh, I came down too hard. I had a feeling he was going to go to that quick hitter. I like to come down on the blitz, then leave. But I came down too hard, so I'm not going to do that this time. Right there. Yup, that's a user. Ooh, that was mean. Yeah, so that time just didn't come down. I went right to the post quick hitter area first instead. Okay, that is going to be it, guys. So that was two quick-ish games. I think both went to around half. But both good games. You got to see my offense really explosive, really good defense. You got to see Phillip Rivers put on a bit of a show. I don't think Asante did much in those games, but I like he has that deep speed. Really, guys, I'm telling you, this offense, Kansas City Chiefs book, super, super explosive, super good. So many good setups. I really only have one more video I got coming out for it. So that should be out on probably Monday. But yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you so much for the support on the channel. We are almost at a thousand. So if you guys are liking the content, I don't want you guys miss any of it. Please leave a like on this video, sub to the channel. Thank you guys for tuning in. My name is King Reggie and I'm out.